Welcome back everybody to Gary's Diecast Collection Random Car Challenge. Well, uh, the challenge is to show, uh, well, he says your favorite cars or your least favorite cars. I don't know why you'd want to show your least favorite. Um, well, I guess something like this would be the least favorite because it's not in very good shape. And, well, this is a cool older casting. It's by Matchbox. Uh, copyright 92, ITC Entertainment Group Limited. And very cool there. So this is uh, Lady Penelope's car from uh, the Thunderbirds. And this is Fab One. And I thought this is pretty cool. This is uh, like a futuristic Rolls Royce. <laughs> pretty cool. And I've had this one for a long time. I found it used. And I think it's such a cool little casting here. Well, that's been in my collection for a while. And well, let's show you a rough one. Well... This would be my least favorite, I guess, because it's in rough shape and well, it's not a very good casting, but it is a Hardy's uh, livery on it. But it also says Hardy's Road Run, what? Whatever it says there, Road Runner, Hardy's 90s. So I don't know if this is like a, a car that they gave through Hardy's uh, restaurants, like uh, McDonald's. Uh, at Hot Wheels. Uh, I don't know how old this casting is, but it says uh, made in Hong Kong. So I think this was a giveaway through the restaurants. Uh, it's a Camaro race car. And okay, not in the best shape, but I mean, it's Camaro. So of course uh, I had to, well, I think it was in a bag with other uh, cars like at Valley Village and whatnot. So it's definitely something worth hanging on to. And so we'll put these over here. And well, let's go with Matchbox here. Now, the Weekend Warrior, uh, he showed a, a used version of this one. And this one I've got, well, back when it was new. Here's the chassis here. And it's got a metal chassis on it, so that's really nice. And it's copyright 1985, or yeah, 1985, 162 scale. Super Band 2. So I wonder what the first one was. Anyways, this is a very cool casting, and it's in beautiful shape. I kept it that way, because uh, I absolutely love the concept of a racing van. And this, of course, would be a Ford Transit. But that's very cool. And uh, more Matchbox here. Well, this would be a Mattel era, so copyright 1999. And this is pretty cool. Nice... Uh, metallic copper paint job on it headlights are down up and sober it does have the side marker lights on it that's really neat the side trim and it didn't have any tail lights i just took a red sharpie and colored them in and i think that looks pretty good even though you got kind of a metallic red tail lights and then of course they had focus and board for you and the black uh, trim there that was already painted on so i think that's pretty cool and uh these have spring suspension so it's a nice little casting overall and then we go to an older Matchbox casting. Uh, this one has springs as well. And this is the Mercury Sable Wagon. It's copyright 1987. And so I got this brand new. And because uh, I started collecting in 88. And metal chassis here and metal body. So that's really cool. And then you got an opening tailgate. So opening parts, and that's what they're still doing with the plastic opening parts. And I think that's pretty cool. Headlights are part of the window unit. So overall, pretty cool uh, station wagon, something you don't see much of anymore. Uh, you might see the Taurus version, but definitely not the Mercury version. So that's pretty cool. And well, let's go to another brand such as Majorette. Now, I did a police car video in 164 scale, and I couldn't find these to include them in. And, uh, well, I actually had them stashed in a box with Matchbox. <laughs> and so, of course, I find it when I'm looking for Matchbox. And these are very cool. Now, these are the 80s era Caprice police cars. And pretty nice. Uh, these are after they were made in France, but still very nice. Uh, well, Impala, they're calling this one. And so very cool metal chassis metal body has opening doors 
And then what's cool is, well, this would be like an LA police car for the West Coast. And then this would be the New York livery, the New York City police. So I think that's pretty cool. And I've kept them in the package all this time because uh, no, it's they're just, they're just cool. I want to keep kind of a little history lesson here, I guess. So made in Thailand, pretty cool. And of course, there's no copyright date when they were made, but uh, these go back to my early days of collecting as well. So sometime in the 90s, I think I got these. So I think that's really cool. And then an older majorette. Now this one is made in France. Oh, upside down. And there we go, main front. So it's the turbo BMW. Now, is this a concept vehicle? I don't know, but scale 160. Metal chassis, pretty nice. And then spring suspension. And then this one has plastic opening doors on it. So that's pretty cool. Gullwing style. I'm not really familiar with it. Let's uh, grab this with my yeah. And so that's really cool. Here's the interior. So you can even get a little shifter in there. A little bit of dirt inside, but still pretty cool. So, gotta love that one. And that I found used again, like, a, you know, at a Value Village or whatever thrift store. And so that's nice. And then uh, another old one. And this is very cool. So, we'll have a look. It's the Ferrari Berlinetta 250 GT. And you see it says Husky. Well, Husky is the name before Corgi Juniors. And it's made in Great Britain. Metal chassis, metal body. And you got a separate piece for the engine. And there it's a right hand drive. So, very cool little casting. You know, not in the best shape, but overall, very nice. So, separate tires. They're not rubber, they're just plastic. But separate wheels. Very cool little casting. So that's a nice one to have. And well, here's just another random car that I'm not sure what make it is. You can see something embossed there. Uh, vibe, vibe, uh, dive, vibe. I don't know. Something, but it's in China. Honda Acura NSX. Another used find. And this would have been in a bag as well. And when I saw this, I thought, wow, pretty cool. I don't know what brand it is, but nice little NSX. And I was thinking maybe I should restore it or something, but uh, it's pretty cool just as is. And so far, those are pretty neat. And then we go to Ertl. And this is a very cool older casting. The engine cover flips up. Uh, it's all metal, only the windshield interior are plastic, uh, and the wheels too, but that's pretty cool. Nice little casting, and this is the McLaren M8A, and there's the Earl Company, made in Hong Kong, so that's an older casting for sure. And of course, well, they were trying to have wheels similar to Hot Wheels, I guess, and, but overall... I found this one used, and it's in beautiful shape. Gotta love that little roll bar there. And uh, let's see, steering wheel, well, part of the dash, but still pretty cool. Uh, it's got spring suspension up front. I don't think they could do much in the back, but still, that's very cool. So, of course, vintage race cars, gotta love those. And then sticking with Ertl. Well, uh, this is Racing Champions, and this is the Fast and Furious, but it is part of the Ertl line after uh, Racing Champions bought them, copyright 2003. And there's a uh, 7 Series, so lots of the Fast and Furious cars. And, uh, well, I didn't see much of these, but, of course, when I found this uh, Camaro, I had to have it. So that's really cool. And I've kept it in the package all this time. And it is a beautiful casting of uh, the 69 Camaro Yanko model. And it's got metal chassis on it. So it's very nice opening hood on it. So that's really cool. And well, this is a straight racing champions version. 
Uh, this is an old one. Yeah, it's got a metal chassis on it. So let's see, it's really shiny there. Um, let's see, can we move up to the light where I can sort of get the cable? <laughs> so shiny, it's hard to see. Can you get in there? Anyways, that goes back a ways and uh, pretty cool. Uh, the hood opens on it and then you get engine detail in there. So the temples up front look pretty good and decent looking interior. And then for some reason they decided to uh, come up with their own style of taillights. <laughs> the taillights aren't even colored in, but it almost looks like a Mitsubishi uh, Eclipse. <laughs> tail light but that doesn't matter it's pretty cool and of course they had display stands and then uh, a die cast metal plaque here and uh, years of it being on the base the rubber would stick and then leave these marks in the plastic but it's pretty cool got to have uh, the two Camaros here and then the last one, got to include a Hot Wheels, right? So this is a very cool uh, older casting, part of the Speed Machines line. And I didn't see many of these up here, but I definitely found the Corvette and wanted to get that one. And here's the back of the package there. And so these were copyright 2009. And there's lots of cool cars in this series, some very valuable ones like Ferraris and stuff. But I'm happy to have a Corvette absolutely love it beautiful tapos this is before before prem or when did premium anyways but very cool with a co-mold wheels on it gotta love that well there you go that's my random car challenge so thank you very much for watching and check out gary's diecast collection and then uh, a lot of comments uh, have been left on his channel for his video uh, of guys that are going to participate. So that's one way you can find out who's uh, taking part. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.